This is a walkthrough to help you understand how to use the W3 Markup Validation Service. It's at validator.w3.org. What it does is help you uh, make sure that your site is more web accessible by, by having valid coding uh, in terms of your HTML and uh, JavaScript and any other uh, markup service. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and head to the site. Here it is. You can validate the URL itself or a file upload or the actual direct input where you copy and paste the code from whatever file and then put it in there. there. But for this case we're going to use the URL. So I put Yahoo in and uh, I want to put show source. I usually don't do any of these other um, um, other options. Um, so I usually don't worry about it. Other people do. But go ahead and uh, check that. Um, in the case that you have a valid site, it comes up as a like a green bar saying basically your site is valid and depends on whether it's uh, it is, it'll tell you uh, what your site is using whether it's XHTML X, X transitional 1.0 or strict or um, usually strict is a little bit more um, uh, valid in this case uh, Yahoo's using HTML5 as their document type and have uh, 130 errors. So basically, it actually, see the great thing about this, it actually tells you what's wrong with your site. So this is in the, uh, um, tells you there's a, something wrong in the header elements, usually line eight. So if you click on line eight, it actually jumps down to the line in the code at the bottom of the site, which that's where it's always gonna produce. So we'll just go back all the way up there again and uh, find something easy for example border attributing image border or in the CSS instead so for example in line 509 they have an event and uh, uh, image in there they probably should have class used a CSS class and they could have done height with the border um, for example this one's ID it could have been ID, logo, and then image, and then border specified. Um, this is not a um, valid attribute in your in the direct uh, HTML file. And um, basically, you can go through, and it this list helps you uh, eliminate everything that's wrong with your code and so by the time that you it's fixed this error this bar up here that's in the red should say in the green and it says no errors found so um, uh, things to look for usually if you're not too sure like as you're correcting code say like you are a person that likes to do it live or like just on the fly you can uh, you can just revalidate, click the button, and you you know as you are editing, of course this er these errors would go down. Um, but basically, this is just a just to show you. And uh, for anybody who knows, HTML5 uh, uh, in 2011 has been something that a lot of sites have been taking on. Most of you will probably still validate your sites in X HTML 1.0 transitional or X HTML 1.0 strict. Um, and that's fine. HTML5 is really good because you can have responsive coding, uh, a lot better responsive coding for mobile apps and geolocation. So, um, you know, that's great. But uh, there you go. It's your walk through your uh, W3C markup validation service. Thank you.